such pain, such despair. You took my Eleanor, my Eleven, destroyed everything. I will never forgive you. King Erwin continues to mutter pitifully. Move in closer to listen? Yep. As he steps forward, Lev is suddenly transfixed by the void inside his father. Excellent. Oh. King Erwin, it is a great honor to be invited to celebrate this most special of days with you. The birth of your son and heir is a source of great joy and happiness to us all. Congratulations, your majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Aye, this is a momentous day for Dundrasil. I am truly humbled to be lucky enough to celebrate it with you all. My dear Sultan, King Gustav, allow me to welcome you both to Dundrasil. You honor us with your presence. The honor is all ours, King Erwin. Truly, it has been far too long. A thousand thanks for preparing such lavish festivities. Though, of course, we are not here merely to celebrate. Today's Colloquy of Kings shall determine the fate of Erdrea for generations to come. I, for one, mean to see that my people's interests are well represented. You will forgive me if I grow a little passionate at times. It is the first time the rulers of the Four Kingdoms have ever gathered under one roof, you know. A momentous occasion, indeed. But the reason itself is a momentous one, of course. The birth of an heir to the title of Luminary is an event of unparalleled significance. Indeed it is. Thank you once again for agreeing to meet so readily. Now, I have some final preparations to make before we convene the colloquy. I will come and fetch you when we're ready to begin. Guards, I don't suppose any of you have seen King Carnelian? Yes, sire. King Carnelian is walking the grounds with Lord Robert, sire. Hmm. So this is the day of my birth. This is... Ooh, there we go. Kind of messed up, second care. Hey, there's no need to be so impatient. We'll get to see the baby just as soon as the collo colloquy of kings is done. I think they might just be getting started with that any minute now, actually. Saw King Erwin head to the courtyard with King Carnelian. The rulers of all four kingdoms brought together for a great summit. There'll be fireworks, I'm sure. Luckily for me, I have a front row seat. There's the sultan. By the sands, what a feast! And as if that were not cause enough for joy, the rulers of the great kingdoms are gathered at last. The birth of the luminary is an auspicious event indeed. My own son and heir is also soon to be, soon to be born. Let us endeavor to celebrate his arrival with equal pomp and splendor. Oh, uh, so I'm older. 
by, I guess, a little while, huh? Perfect. Oh, hello. It's Carnelian, as well as Robert. Or Rab. King Carnelian. Lord Robert. I will be convening the colloquy shortly, if you'd like to make ready. Lord Robert informs me that the boy bears the mark. That he is the Luminary Reborn. That's right, I. I've decided to present him to you all at the Colloquy. The sight of so many people gathered to celebrate his birth has brought home to me how important he is. How much hope the light he brings represents. Save it for the meeting, Owen. <laughs> Take it to heart, laddie. The fate of all Erdria hangs in the luminary now. Not everyone's going to be happy about that. Right, it's nearly time. Why don't you go and fetch the wee one from Eleanor's chambers? Okay. Upstairs we go then. I believe that's where my mother's chambers are. It's so wild be doing this with my armor on. Representing that I'm Drusillian. Should be it over here, I think. This is the second time I've seen me as a ba as a child. It's weird. Jade. Oh, he's so tiny. Can I touch him, Lady Eleanor? I promise I'll be careful. Hmm. <laughs> I think he likes you, Jade. He wants to play. He's a very special boy, you know. They call him the Luminary. People have all sorts of hopes for him. But I just hope he grows up to be like his father. That he can help people to overcome their problems. Just as Erwin does. I hope he grows up to be nice and kind like you, Lady Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> Colloquy's about to start, Eleanor. Will you hand me the wee one? All right, wee man. Let's go and talk to some scary old men, shall we? Don't worry. Daddy will look after you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Erwin. You don't need to hold on to him so tight, you know. Let the poor boy breathe. Would you look at it thundering away out there? And on such a special day, too. It's making me feel uneasy. Come on now, Helena. There's nothing to worry about. We'll keep you safe no matter what, won't we, wee man? Yeah, there's the mark on my hand. And what about me, hmm? Hey. <laughs> You don't need me to protect you, Jade. You've got King Carnelian. Your dad's a force to be reckoned with, and no mistake. <laughs> right. We better get this meeting started. I'll see you later, Eleanor. Some huge earrings. Good luck. Both of you.
I is someone there? Who are you talking to, Lady Eleanor? There's no one there. No, no, of course not. Sorry, dear. Just, it was the strangest thing. I know that Erwin's taken little Eleven to the colloquy, but so I can still sense him here in the room. I felt his warmth. Ah, this isn't the time for that kind of nonsense. It's my wee one's big day. I mustn't let myself get distracted. I'm tall. I'm gonna be such a good big sister to Eleven. I'm gonna play together all the time when he gets bigger. I'm tall compared to her. Jesus. I guess I get that from my father. I get... I get the tall jeans. Song of Beginnings. World Tree's Gift, first of many. Old bright, blessed luminary. Thy light doth a shadow cast. Lo, the dark one. Bleak, black, vast. World Tree's foot, a plea of prayer. Ringeth through the mountain air. Babe is born. Tree's will revealed. Serenica, luminary shield. This book is filled with many more such important sounding poems. Levin carefully closes it. It's gotta freak them out seeing these things just open. Guessing now is the time for the Colloquy of Kings. Assuming that'd be in the room across. No. Ah, can I believe it? Lord Robert's been hiding his magazines under the bed again. It's only been a few days since Queen Eleanor confiscated the last lot. Oh, Ogler's Digest. In mint condition. I guess it's on the other side of the castle then. The Colloquy of Kings will be starting any minute, so we best be all extra vigilant. Bleh. So we best be all extra. Bleh. So we'd all best be at. Bleh. The, colloqu the colloquy of kings will be starting any minute. So we'd best all be extra vigilant. That means you too, alright? Less of you're messing around. Aye, right, sir. Don't worry, sir. You can count on me. Wake up, you daft gawk. You're here to stand guard, not to catch up on your kip. There's more to being a soldier than just putting on a swanky uniform, you know. I'm saving to a spirit. All right, onward we go. Here are the knights all. Oh, that's cool, actually. The rain coming through onto the patio. Very, very nice. Not sure I'm fully with the design, but I get it. Here we go, the colloquy. This child, he is the one. He bears the mark. There's no mistaking it. This is audio from the opening cutscene. Dark one riseth, tree descendeth, luminary, man defendeth. Light's mark shineth. Hand extendeth, with his coming, black night endeth. The final poem in the book of Erdwin. The legends tell us that the Dark One was defeated by the Luminary in the Age of Heroes, bringing eternal peace to the world. But, as I'm sure you haven't failed to notice, monsters walk the land once more. The peace of Erdria is under threat. The kingdom of Svardsrost has already fallen into wicked creatures' hands. 
The king armed it with it. He will be sorely missed. And now a child has been born who bears the mark. Which brings us to a reason for gathering here today. What does all this mean for Erdria? Monsters running wild, of the peace of centuries crumbling. But surely, the birth of the child signals an end to our woes. Now that the luminary is among us, the balance can be restored, the peace can be maintained. All is well, is it not? I love the Sultan. <laughs> you believe that the presence of the luminary will ensure that peace prevails. Can you be certain? Forgive me, Lord Robert, but the Book of Erdwin contains another poem concerning this matter, does it not? It does. The very first poem. The prophecy. Well, tree's gift, first of many, bold, bright, blessed luminary. Thy light doth a shadow cast. Lo, the dark one, bleak, black, vast. What are the two of you implying? That the luminary causes the appearance of the dark one? Without light, there cannot be shadow. Without darkness, the stars cannot shine. This has always been the way of the world. Darkness and light must coexist. So, indeed, the birth of the luminary may well be what causes the dark one to awaken. You dare to imply that my son is somehow the source of our troubles? That the Luminary isn't a force for good! Can we be certain that he is? Evil does not always take a monstrous form, after all. You must have noticed the sinister glow emitted by Erdwin's lantern of late. Ever since your child was born, in fact. What are you trying to... Star sings at night, you know. I, I have heard it. It sings of Erdria's destruction. Don't believe it. King Gustav is right. Ah, oh, don't you start. Ominous footsteps approach. We all hear them. As the leaders of this world, we owe it to our people to root out even the slightest hint of evil at its source. Even when that source is painfully close to home. Why don't you just come out and say it? You're asking me to kill my own son! My own flesh and blood! Something happened, not long before the child was born. I'm sure some of you saw it. A great, blinding light shot up from Yggdrasil and set the sky aglow. For a moment, it seemed that night had become day. We saw that same light on the evening he was born. It was shining from the mark on his hand. The child is a force for good. I have never been more certain of anything. He did not give rise to the darkness. He was sent to drive it out. 
Light and dark are not two sides of the same coin. The light of the luminary is a gift. A gift that will cleanse the world of evil. A rousing performance indeed. <laughs> of course, if you had shown even a witless conviction, we would have had no choice but to remove the child from your care. The luminary is the child of Yggdrasil. He alone can bring light to the world. He must be protected at all costs. I hope you will forgive us our little test, but we had to be sure how strongly you believed. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I am satisfied. Send him to Heliodor when he comes of age. He will be trained in all that he will need to fulfill his destiny. We must confer upon the Luminary the power to lead us all. King Carnelian, everyone, I, I don't know what to say. Ah, uh, 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 very good. The most pressing item on our agenda is dealt with, and it ended just as I knew it would. <laughs> I love the Sultan. Now the matter is settled. Our kingdoms are united in their purpose. <laughs> Let all be as Yggdrasil wills it. That concludes the colloquy. Now, all that remains is to introduce the luminary to his adoring public. Hmm. Thank you, King Connie. I'm just sitting back there watching. My friends, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Now, dear... Uh, your Majesty! Uh, 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 what is it? You, you must flee the palace immediately! Monsters! Hundreds! Hundreds of monsters! Uh. We have to get out of here now. Can it truly be happening? Are the monsters willing to destroy an entire kingdom to get their hands on a mere child? Mighty Yggdrasil, lend us your protection. May your blessed bowels hold back these foul creatures. Who was it who claimed to be... Who was it who claimed to be the Luminary? Who was it who claimed that the Luminary would be our savior? So far as he appears to be anything but... No. Oh, shut your mouth, Sultan. <laughs> Lucifer! Child. Lord Robert and I will keep them at bay. Take Eleanor and the child and flee the castle. Now! But King Carnelian, this is suicide! You need not fret on my behalf. I am not in my dotage just yet. Now go! Thank you. Both of you. Can I help out at all? I just hope I remain to the throne room. 
I'll take you all if you if I have to. You'll never have the boy. Muhaha, <laughs> foolish human worms. You will die trying to protect your precious luminary. Try to fight it? Yep. I'll do this. Oh, perfect timing. They just keep coming, wave after wave of them. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to hold them off. All right, off to the throne room then, boys. Bag of bones. Yep. Giga slash. <laughs> All right, on to the throne room then. Got that armor. Hello, sir. The luminary, give him to me. He belongs not to you. He belongs to the Lord of Shadows. Yep. I wonder if this does anything to help out, actually. I was. Outside of give me extra levels, I wonder if this actually does anything. Where are they going? Down here? Another one. I'll take you all on. Pathetic little humans, I will slice you open and tear your insides out. Oh. Feeble worms, you'll all be crushed before your hero Hendrick even gets here. Depressing, like tearing your insides out. It's kind of ugh. We should be able to get out through here. Must have the place surrounded. We'll have to use 
use the tunnels. This way. Probably not the best to be calmly walking. I'll take care of this, though. Mord again ordered me to make a bonfire of humans and burn this castle to the ground. It's exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck you. I'll burn you to the ground. Thank goodness that monster's gone. Now I'm away to look for that prized Ferdy who left me in the lurch and give him a piece of my mind. Okay. I, I cannot let this thing get any further. You will die slowly and I will enjoy every second. Your pain, your suffering. Done. That's where more of that came from, I'll wager. Ah, it's no good. The monsters are storming the gates. There's no way to go. There's no way out through here. Alright, so I guess we're heading this way then. Oh dear. First Vard's Rusk, now Dundrasil. None of your human strongholds are safe from obliteration at our hands. Medicine. Nothing else. Okay. Into here we go then. I think this was the one. Quickly, in we go. Before the monsters find us. Nothing in here. All right, in we go. After myself. Here we go. Oh, this is uh, awesome. Making our way. Gotta catch up with them. Here we go. Give my father a hand. Think I'll bow to you? You think I'll let you harm my family? Never. Onward. Haha, <laughs> you'll never know. I'll hit you with the good old Giga Slash. Oh, he must have like a Falcon Blade. One more should do it. And maybe a good old Falcon Slash for good measure to copy my father. That's the end of you, buddy. Barbaros.
and stay down. Right. Time to get after Eleanor. <laughs> King Carnelian? Over here, your majesty! <laughs> All right. King's gonna meet up with my father. How'd he get stuck down here, though? It's concerning. King Carnelian? What in the... Oh, it's Mortigan. This is when he possesses him. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Your Majesty. Erwin. Is that you? What happened? <laughs> Is everyone safe? You are all right. Thank goodness. Jade's with Eleanor and the Wee One, Your Majesty. They made it safely out of the castle. I see. Good. Very good. I shall send my forces after them right away. Your Majesty, what do you... <laughs> oh, God. Wait, how'd that go through his... The bloodline of the Luminary ends here... today. King Carnelian, your majesty? No. Sire. Forgive me. I was unable to find you. I thank the heavens that you are unhurt. I made it here just too late. <gasps> King Erwin, what has happened here? I had no choice. He came at me in a frenzy. Queen Eleanor has absconded with the Luminary. And with my daughter. Surely not. Whatever would possess them to commit such acts. The birth of the child has put them both under great pressure. It has also caused the coming of the monsters. The loss of countless lives. Perhaps the coming of the Luminary does bring darkness in its wake. After all, without him, this tragedy would never have come to pass. Yes, I see now. He is not our savior. He is the harbinger of the night to come. The child of evil, the dark spawn. He must be found and dealt with. The peace of Erdria must not be permitted to collapse. Find him. Leave no stone unturned. Sire. Hendrik, Hendrik, Hendrik. He is no harbinger of darkness. He is the luminary, the savior. Someone, please. King Carnelian must be stopped, or the world will be plunged in, into darkness. Eleanor, please. Forgive me. I was too weak. And my father dies alone. Trade.
and this is the foul creature responsible for these nightmares? Be the last meal you ever have, buddy. Give yourself to misery. Let anguish consume you. This is your most painful memory. The darkest tenderous recess of your soul. Can you hear me? Please, you must listen. There is a light inside you that can never be extinguished. It is waiting, biding its time. But it is there, and when it shines forth, it will illuminate the world. Now is that time. You are the luminary. You must conquer the darkness. You must shine. This light is... Get out of my father. What's happening? You're back with us, lad. 
Daddy, are you all right? Yep, but we've got a monster to face. This light, disgusting. It blinds me. It fills my mouth. It tastes of hope. This is the beast responsible for King Erwin's suffering. We must defeat it and lift his majesty's curse. <sighs> you dare disturb me while I prepare to sample the next delicious morsel of misery. No matter. Your screams of agony will surely whet my appetite. <laughs> All right, we're about to take care of this fool right here, right now. Hit ourselves with the oomphful on Hendrick. Your knife. All right, we'll hit him with the good old fashioned Falcon Slash. A uh, good old. Let's see. Hmm. A more heal on himself would be pretty good. Him with the good. The nice bit of Hatchet Man. I... Alright. Oh. Frizz. W eh, nah. We'll do another oomphful on myself. You know what's up. Falcon Slash. Oh, wait, I forgot about this. He does buff. Okay. Hatchet Man, though. Fug. Multi heal. We're just going to keep this up a little bit. We'll hit him with the Bats Amore. This one's gotta hit. Perfection. Ah. Uh. I don't like that. More heal. Please and thank you. Do I have any items? No. Alright, so we hit another. Wait. I have a more heal. Sobering slap, if you please. He wants to fuck me. I think Silvando has, yep, a strong medicine I can give to myself. Him with another one. This sh hopefully takes him out. Mm, yes. Enough with the fucking miasma, dude. I thought that was doing a little less than it should. Excel, excellent. Ec oh, again? Ooh, ooh, baby. Let's try a good old parallax or helm splitter. Nice.
Renew it on me. We'll hit him with a good old fashioned Falcon Slash. Multi. Mm. Sobering slap, if you please. Slap me. Hmm. Don't like that. It's okay, we're about to hit him for a shit ton of damage right now. Parallax, more, or axes of e uh. Yes. Yes, boy. You literally just attacked. Okay. I have to do this. There we go. He attacked almost immediately after he just did one. That's kind of suck, gay. Hey. Get out of here, Gloomnivore. Be gone. Where am I? Do I get to speak to my father? Wait. Those eyes. I'd know them anywhere. Son, is it really you? That smirk. It was you who saved me, wasn't it? It's glowing again. Your powers, they're back. The 
Luminary is restored to us, and all thanks to his honored parents. Levin has regained the power of the Luminary. The Luminary section has been restored to his character builder. Right, we mustn't tarry here for too long, laddie. We've places to be. Pour ourselves together and push on. I have an idea to head north to Octagonia, you know? Is there anything like it used to be? There'll be so many people there. Someone will be bound to have something useful to tell us. War for saving King Orin from endlessly relieved reliving his nightmarish events of a fateful event long ago. Let's not start moping, laddie, else we'll never get anything done. We need to keep moving. Now I reckon Octagonia would be a good place to visit next. It's not too far from Dungeon Zones. Plenty of folks there for us to have a wee chat with. Fabulous. Honey, I've got to say, that little encounter down in the dungeon brought a tear to my eye. Your mommy and poppy must have been so happy to see how you turned out. But we don't have time to dwell on it. We've got things to do, so let's get moving. We wish to speak with you. There's much to be done. The spectral sentinels must be defeated, and your lost friends must be found. Now that the powers of the Luminary have been restored to you, I feel we feel certain we can succeed in our quest and bring peace to the world once more. Yep. And I think that will just about do it for now, everybody. We've saved my mother, or no, we saved my father with the help of my mother, and my powers as the Luminary has been restored. So with that, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.